Mutaza from Canada. I just want to ask uh, about the battle between Ali and um, uh, Ali and uh, Muawiyah. Uh, yeah, yeah, Muawiyah. Uh, and I, I just want to ask uh, about like the like the details because many people they say Muawiyah like hated Ali and was like uh, and was like saying bad things to Ali. Okay. So I just want to ask about that, inshallah. I'll do that, inshallah. Sheikh Tawa from Canada. He says, can you give me details about the war between Ali and Muawiyah? May Allah be pleased with them. Because we hear a lot of things. Akhi, I wasn't there. So I cannot give you the details of what had happened between them. What I can give you are the following. One, the Prophet, alayhi salatu was salam, told us that Ali is one of the ten heaven bound. So he is one of the top four in Islam men, without a doubt. Two, the Prophet told us alayhi salatu wasalam, that there will come a time where two great factions of the ummah would fight and the wrong party would lead Ammar ibn Yasir to be killed. And Ammar ibn Yasir was with the army of Ali ibn Abi Talib. So we know that the other side was wrong. Three, we know for certain that Muawiyah ibn Abi Sufyan, may Allah be pleased with him and with his father, was the brother-in-law of the Prophet ﷺ, meaning that the Prophet was married to his sister, Um Habiba, the mother of the believers. And that he was one of the scribes of the Wahi. So whenever the Prophet received revelation of the Quran, Muawiyah was ordered to come and write these verses, which is an honor that is not given to any Tom, Dick or Harry. Fourthly, we believe that the companions are in Jannah and that they are among those whom Allah had his pleasure uh, uh, be upon them. Allah is pleased with them and they are pleased with Allah Azza wa Jal. So it would be illogical for us to go and try to sort out what had happened and talk ill about one part or party and talk good about the other. They had a dispute and whatever were the reasons uh, uh, were, there were among their armies people who did not want peace and he who uh, initiated and ignited the fire of war which caused to what we know does this mean that they are this or that no they are companions of the prophet we must love them and respect them and we believe that they did what they uh, had done out of good intention and Allah Azza wa Jal is the judge. You need not go a further uh, 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 step after all of that. Because anything else would lead you to speaking ill about one of the companions. And the Prophet said, alayhi salatu wasalam, told us, leave uh, my companions. Leave them aside. Let them be. Because if one of you were to give the equivalents of Mount Uhud, Mount Uhud in gold, in the cause of Allah, this would not come close to the mud of one of them, nor a half of it. So if you spend the weight of Mount Uhud in gold, this would not come close to what one of them spends in the palms of his hand or even in one palm of his hand. So definitely you should stay away from that. Allah Azza knows best. Cam